Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Yes. So, Chris Collins and I watched Ant-Man and the Wasp. What do you think of it? It was quite... Oh, I liked it better than the first one because I didn't think the first one was as, as, was as funny as much. Oh, yeah, the second one's very funny. Apart from the uh, uh, one in the first movie where, uh, where Ant-Man kicked uh, Falcon's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Michael Kiana is Louis. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, so what, else can, what else can we say without spoiling it? I just got to say, you got to find out for yourself. But mind you, it came out in America first before it came out here. What? It came yeah. out in America first? Yes. Now I want to know why'd they make that film after Avengers 3? But the, uh, but, the, uh, but the main part of the movie was actually before the events of Infinity War. That's true. Then what? That's just. So it's essentially a prequel. Yeah, the main part of the movie, but the post credit scene was what actually happened after Infinity War. Oh, sure that ain't a spoiler. No, oh. because we already know what happened in Avengers Infinity oh. War. Oh, no. Oh, and what else can we talk about? Oh. But mind you, I've got to say that, that the first, the second Ant-Man movie was a lot more funnier than the first. No. But I don't want to uh, spoil it to any much people who uh, who haven't seen it yet oh. in this country yet because a lot of people in America would have seen it well before now. What about the action? Aren't you going to talk about that? Oh, I like the fight scenes quite a lot. Uh, what's her name with a mouthful of a name? She's fit. What, the one who plays as a ghost? Yeah, her too. And the wasp. They're thick. Oh, Evangeline Lilly is the one who played as the, the wasp. No, and I wonder, why'd she get a new haircut? It used to be short, now it's long. I'm not really sure. See, see that? It's actually, the, it's actually the same actress who is in the Hobbit movies. She's fit, Hobbit. Hobbit was on the telly last night. Mm -hmm. Don't know which one. Well, in The Hobbit, she actually plays one of the uh, elves. She does. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. So basically, in the Hobbit films, the elves are the good guys, the horrible monsters are the bad guys. Yes. That's straightforward. Is that a jet that just passed us? Not really sure, to be honest. More about about the film and the relationship with Scott and his daughter, <laughs> and it, it's, it's getting even closer with his ex-wife's new husband. Yeah, because in the first movie, Scott got arrested by him. Did yes. Now the BFFs. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, and how that lucky little girl. Looking little girl with a daughter of his, she can potentially have two sets of parents. Yeah. Ant Man and the Wasp, and the name of that bloke her mum's dating. No Lucky idea. Her. No idea. Mm. What else can we talk about? Over, over. But mind you, in that movie, I've got to say, Ghost wasn't actually really a villain at all. She yeah. just wanted a. Uh, I thought you Help. said no spoilers. No, I'm just going to say that, uh, but uh, I don't, I think the main villain was actually the one who actually wanted the, uh, that lab for themselves. No. The Not ones who was like, working with the FBI. Oh, the trailer we saw, I mean, why would a seagull want to eat a tiny little ant when it could be feasting on a crab or anything much bigger? Someone's leftovers of chips. Why an ant? Would make sense it's if like, a cute little sparrow ate the bird. It's like for, to, uh, seagull, uh, our seagulls, an uh, ant would be invisible to them. Yeah. Should have been a cute little sparrow. Or a pigeon. Mm -hmm. yeah, you've seen the end of a bug's life. Yeah. Yeah, the, the bird may have saw Flick first, then she thought, he thought mm, that ant looks tasty, but oh wait, here comes a grasshopper, I'll have that. I'll have him instead. Because was a bigger. <laughs> Much bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. What if they, what if they show Hopper getting eaten for rails? Because in the 
real world. Birds just don't go, oh hey kids, there you go. No, they chew it up, then give it to the birds. So, uh, so scale of one to ten, I'd say that a seven point five. Seven. A seven point five. You having a laugh? It was meant. Eight. Yeah. I'd say eight. Ten out of eight was very meant. Yeah, very meant. Yeah. What was your rating out of ten? Ten out of ten. I'm easily amused. I can't think of any flaws at all. Well, I did prefer Infinity War better to that though. Uh, so I'm only rating Ant-Man a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. But, so, yeah, totally awesome film, really should say it, got what our favourite Dove Hall, what our favourite Dutch lass is. Say it already. Bye. Bye now.